It's been a few days now that we installed the flooring on the food truck. So let's check out how it looks. Hey, it's Frank Baltiers with How to Build Your Food Truck. And this is the final product that we have there. It's the Husky Coin Gray flooring. It's all one piece and it looks, it looks good. <laughs> it looks good. Now I feel kind of jealous that I wish I had this in my food truck. I have a diamond plate on my food truck. Hey, but if you're new to the channel, uh, we have been taking a concept of building a food truck starting from scratch and then we're going to build it into a full mobile kitchen on wheels and we did the flooring just a few days ago if you haven't checked that out that video is a couple videos back we did the blueprints last and this one i want to do something a little a little special i want to be able to talk about phase one we're going to call this phase one and we have to do a review of what we've done and then what's next so i did a list you guys really like my list right there and, uh, let's talk about that really quick and then let's get started on the next part since the flooring is done and then I finally finished these little pieces right up here that were driving me crazy uh, on the stainless steel but this is the so, number one what we did is we bought the trailer so this one's a 7x16 trailer by cargo mate and I found it on Facebook marketplace so just know I'm gonna put it right here because that glare so I bought it on Facebook Marketplace, and that's where I bought my other one as well that I have. So if you're looking for something, Facebook is a real good place to look if you're looking to build it yourself. Um, I didn't like the ones that were there that were already built, so I did it all. And then number two, you have to get a materials list. And the material list, it has two parts to it. One is where you're gonna get it from. And then two, what the material list is what you're gonna get, where you're gonna get it from. And then the other one, if you're a little bit price sensitive, when you're price sensitive, a lot of places, for example, the stainless steel that I have right here, so where I found it, it was $39 a sheet. Some places were 70 for the exact same product, uh, 304, I think it's a 304, 20 gauge stainless steel, really, really good stuff. So that is part of the material list, is knowing exactly what you need. And what we've done here is this, the demo. The demo was where we first started the food truck and we took all the old pieces of plywood out. Then the next part was the electrical. So there's two parts of the electrical. One of them is where you run all like the switches and the outlets behind the plywood. So all right here, there's wiring that goes right over here to my uh, panel that you guys see right there. This is my electrical panel that I have. And then right underneath here, I try to do a nice clean job. That actually is gonna get a box right here to cover it up. That's what we call our service cable. And that's the electrical. We call it the rough and electrical. I've been doing electrical work for a, a long, long time for years. And when we do projects, we start with the rough and then we did the ceilings. So in here we have the ceilings. We went with the FRP board, FRP board. That's fire resistance on the ceilings. That's what we did. And then part of the electrical is the lights. So we have four LED lights that are right there. And all these, if you haven't checked out the videos before, I took it step by step. Everything I've done in this truck has been step by step. 16 inches on center. So that's the, what number are we on? The fifth part of the trailer here is the ceilings. Then we did the walls. The walls are stainless steel. And I really like the stainless steel because it's more durable, easy to clean. It is a hassle to put on because it's harder to cut than FRP. But man, it looks really, really nice. All these little tapes that you see down here, are just where the studs the studs are on the trailer because when you uh, install the tables you guys are gonna see you don't want to hit the stud it's a lot more it's a lot harder to do so that's that part right there what else we got here electrical finish when we say the electrical finish is installing the wire mold boxes with the switches right there and the outlets we got the switches over here too this switch is for that which is going to run the water heater and then you have another one there for the carbon monoxide detector that's where i put mine it's a plugged in carbon monoxide detector and you have another one right there an extra and then there's like a main uh, one where i put all my food warmers in my food truck this is where my fridge is going to be and that's another outlet that i just added extra right there and like i said that's my electrical panel it's a 100 amp electrical panel that we installed right there what else we got here then, last but not least, we got the flooring. And I'm gonna take you guys outside and show you guys where the generator is gonna go. But that's the flooring, and then phase one's complete. And that's kind of where we're at here. Uh, we're getting into some rough weather here in Chicago. I'm in the suburbs of Chicago, and the days 
of working are very limited because it gets dark by five o'clock out here they change the time uh, with daylight savings and it gets really dark really fast so by the time i get home sometimes for my other projects that i have it's almost too hard to be working so i try to take advantage of every little moment that i have like right now we're going to start on the inside but i wanted to do this recap because it's so important to know what we've done and where we got it from put the prices together 39 dollars a sheet for this stainless steel we did the hood on there hey i forgot the hood <laughs> i forgot the hood on there oh and the concession window oh my goodness that's why sometimes you, you need this list. I do have a list of everything that I've done and I'm putting something there together for you guys where I can link it on Amazon, everything that I've bought. And I'm gonna make it like an affiliate link where um, you know you make like a commission on it. I, this is the first time I've done something like that uh, because it's the first time that I've reused the same products over and over again for these food trucks and I really like them. And it makes it so much easier because the first time that I built my food truck, I was struggling, I was researching, where do I find a concession window like this? Where do I find my exhaust hood? What electrical panel do I use? Where do I find my stainless steel? The outlets and switches are pretty standard for me because I have a ton of them that we use on a daily basis. So those are like everywhere. Those are easy to find. But that is where we're at now. Let me show you guys the, the outside where we're gonna put the propane. Right here, we're gonna put the plumbing right in there. And uh, a lot of questions have come in from the electrical. So if you have any questions on the electrical, uh, hopefully I can get an answer for you guys. Uh, some people have shared through email little questions that they have, but uh, how I run my electrical is behind the plywood right in here. So all right here, if you guys have uh, seen the other videos, there's wiring right in there. But we try to keep such a clean job that uh, you'll never know. So let's go outside and let me show you what we've done here in this part right here. This is something that I found that I really, really like. Is what I have in my food truck. is a Stromberg trailer tray where you put your generator right up here. And then right here, this plate is going to have the propane tanks. Two 30-pound tanks fit right here. So you're going to have a total of 60 pounds of propane. And there's a 50-amp generator plug. So, so things like this is what I want to link on the product list and the material list. Is where do you find this? Where do you find this? Where do you find this? To make it really really easy for you guys so you, when you guys purchase it it's just a click away and the pricing on amazon is always pretty competitive on where you can get it but let me show you my food truck and the front of it and then you guys can get the idea so here's how it looks in my truck that way you guys can see it in action these are the 230 pound propane tanks and that's the generator sitting right on top and then right here we're going to install this in the new food truck this is so cool this regulator that whenever this propane tank runs out or the other one then you go right here and you flip this lever and it's like boom easy to switch so you put you most likely will not run out of propane when you're on the field because once you run out of one then you can fill it up and go to the next one and that's that is really cool i really like that part right there that's been one of the best parts of the install on the propane is that part right there so with that that's Frank Baltiers with phase one complete. Now let's move on to phase two.